Well, I didn't see no Jaguar Rooney out here today, but uh, I haven't been out here uh, that long. I've been out here since about 5 p.m., maybe a little bit, about 4.45, maybe. I seen a big kite, and that was about it out here. Big old flock of birds. My birds getting the hell out of here before they get eaten up by them hawks. <laughs> hawks eat them things for lunch. They kill them for fun of it. That's just the reality of it. Da 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 da. Get over here, chat. There we go. It's our bad to tonight, anyway. Shit, man. I'm I'm steadily looking out there for that JY Randy. He comes around here again. I'm gonna get him on live stream. I hope. Plane flying way up in the air up there. Beautiful day again today. We have some of the most beautiful weather out here. We're going to put in a mini golf course out here. Like a putt putt golf right here in the yard. Over on the other side of the house over there.
All right, let me get, I'm trying to get started here. Give me a chance. Okay. Well, you touch this phone and everything pops up on it. All right, I put down a link for you guys. Uh, I got, uh, I came out here earlier and was waiting to see if that cat would show up again, but he didn't show up today. If he did, he showed up earlier. He's gonna, he's out there somewhere. But the local authorities have been notified. This is a big deal. Uh, getting a jaguar rundi on a on a live video like that. Most people don't realize that there has not been a, a picture taken or a video taken of this cat since January of 1986. And the state had listed the jaguar rundi as. Uh, endangered extinct and now they're, they're learning real quick that this cat is not extinct in, in the United States uh, and when I say they had it listed extinct they had it listed extinct for Texas because it's the only place the cat lives in the United States but uh, it, it's such a rare cat that they just figured well they're, that they're down there in Central and South America uh, but as you can tell from that video that I posted that uh, and, and I posted over there on uh, Facebook also, but the cat is not extinct and there's a family of them living here. So um, the state, to give you an update on that, they sent the video to the uh, federal animal control board or whatever. And they're they're reviewing the video, I guess, tomorrow. They might have already looked at it today, but. They're, they're going to take about a week to do their thing. That includes uh, reviewing the video, verifying it is a Jaguar Rundi. And then the state will probably be sending some people out here. There may, may even be a federal representative come out here because they want to uh, they want to know how many of them's out here. So the, the, what they're going to do is they're probably going to go uh, uh, track down the den and try and count how many uh, – Jaguar Rundi, there are there, so they're probably going to be putting in the cameras and all that cool shit. And if they do that, uh, since they're going to be coming here to the property to do it, uh, I'm going to see if I can't tune into them fucking cameras with my computer. <laughs> shit, I ain't stupid. Uh, but it's pretty exciting. Um, well, I want to see if maybe I can get enough donations from you turkeys. I could buy one of those expensive. Uh, uh, cameras that they put out like that you know you can put out and, and then go look at review the video and then you know set it back up and all that they're a pain in the ass really but it, it would be worth it for something like this i think and um uh, i'm thinking maybe this week i'm going to order a a drone so i'm probably going to be ordering a drone and making videos like that uh, I don't know if I'm going to get a computer this week or next month. I don't know yet, but we'll, we'll see. Either way, I'll have one within a month or so at the latest. But I want a, I want a PC that, to where I can edit videos real good. So I can't just go buy the bottom line PC, I don't think. So I'm gonna, maybe you guys can help me shop around and find a decent one at a decent price. Um, so that's what I got going. I'm I'm looking. I'm definitely going to get a drone this week because you can get one of them for like a. Looks like from here it looks like a kite. And it does not fly like a hawk. behind the trees now he'll be coming out here in a minute i don't know if you'll see him though he's so far off there he is anyway yeah we do got a lot of kites here uh we got big white kites uh nesting on the property right now so if you're gonna see something up close it's probably gonna be that kite or uh some type of hawk or maybe even an owl um we have all kinds of owls around here we have the cooper's hawk we have uh, black hawks. We got all kinds of freaking hawks around here. Hawks, I can't. We got white hawks, gray hawks. You name it, we got the fucking hawk. And um, 
And uh, there's so many hawks. I, I, I got to go look them up in my room half the time. And then even sometimes they're not a hawk. Sometimes they turn out to be a kite. But I'm getting pretty good at telling them apart now. So uh, it, it's not too difficult to tell them apart once you get used to looking at the difference between the two species of bird. Um, the biggest difference is the color pattern. And there's only maybe two. Uh, I'm going to say three possibly uh, kites that you could confuse for a hawk even if you're used to seeing them like me. Uh, but you're hard pressed to confuse the two due to the size. The size will give them away because those, those main two are, are much smaller than, than a hawk. See, so, and even though there are smaller hawks, it's just, it gets pretty obvious at a certain point. But um, I haven't seen any eagles the last couple of days. Well, I, I guess I did yesterday at a distance, but. I haven't seen any up real close except for the uh, the black eagle. That was pretty cool. The black eagle's a badass looking bird. Um, he's not near as big as all the other eagles I've been seeing around here, though. Um, except for the itty bitty wooded eagle I see fly through here, but he's the only one that's smaller than that eagle that I just saw uh, the other day. So, but that that eagle's bigger than than the freaking hawks. So then, then there's that. And he looks like a battle wagon, man. He looks like he's ready to swoop in and tear something up. Uh, predominantly, hawks like to kill with their talons. Uh, more so than their 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 beak. Uh, hawks have a powerful grip and they like to reach down there, grab something and, and kill it with their talons. So with that in mind, the Cooper's hawk is a snake killer. It's a snake killing machine. Uh, you got to watch them little boogers though, because they will, they've been known to actually pick up a snake and drop it right in the center of your uh, party event, like a barbecue or whatever you're doing. So, yeah, watch them little bastards. But uh, I've been wondering, how come we ain't see more snakes around here, you know, rattlesnakes and shit like that? And it's because there's so many freaking hawks around here. Hawks kill snakes, like, on a regular basis. Uh, they love to eat them. So, but then there's that. And, uh... The eagles will not only kill with their talons, but an eagle, they love to kill with their beak. So um, you can look for an eagle to go after bigger game like a, a goat. A goat's nothing for a big eagle. A uh, big eagle swoop down there and grab that damn goat by his neck and pow, lay that beak into him and kill him. Or at least paralyze him and then proceed to kill him. Um, hawks are a killing machine. But an eagle is even more so of a killing machine. And uh, blackbirds and herons, birds like that, are uh, a hobby for a hawk. They don't always eat blackbirds they kill. Uh, they will rip it open and, and eat its heart and then leave the rest of it. But you're talking about one over three kills or more. So predominantly, they don't kill and eat the blackbird. They generally just kill it and leave it. Um, I'm presuming they just don't like the damn bird. Uh, I've seen a video where a, uh, a hawk killed a, uh, was it the goose or the, no, it was the duck. And uh, he was proceeding to rip the feathers off from around his chest. And uh, this blackbird just kept attacking him. Pow, pow. He's flying around. He'd, pow. He'd fly around again. Pow, pow. I mean, steadily. But he wasn't bothering a damn hawk. I mean, the hawk was like, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I had an itch right there. Oh, could you move over a little bit? I mean, <laughs> the fuck's a blackbird going to do to a hawk? Like, not a fucking thing. And, um. <laughs> so, 
So duh, and even geese. Geese are also on the menu for uh for hawks. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, geese cannot kill a, a hawk, generally speaking. But when they're flying through there, you're never going to see a hawk go after a, a goose for the most part because they're going to have to get on its back to get it. And what they generally do with those birds is they go for the neck and they use its talon to break its neck or to cut it open uh, in the front of the neck good enough that he suffocates to death. Um, an eagle, on the other hand, that's a whole other story. An eagle, well, they don't generally attack geese. And in fact, I've never heard of an eagle going after a goose, but it, it's possible. I mean, they they obviously can, but the eagles like other types of game for the most part, and they they'll go after a hawk or anything in its hunting territory to get rid of the competition. If there is a cat that can kill a jaguar or rundi, it's going to be an eagle, not a hawk. The, the hawk could never think about killing that jaguar or undy, but uh, even then, I, I, if I were the eagle, I'd be very weary because uh, jaguar or rundies, uh birds are on their menu. Hawks in particular, they will go after a hawk in a heartbeat. And, um, and it's been known to jump up over nine feet and catch a bird and proceed to eat it or kill it and take it back to its... Uh, is den and feed it to its family but um so i am just saying the only the only bird that i would presume could kill a, a jaguar rundi would have to be a large eagle and even then if the jaguar rundi saw him coming he might jump up and grab him and then you're gonna have a fight on your hands um I would put money on a bigger eagle, though, to be honest with you. If it's a golden eagle, if you just square them off on the ground face-to-face, -face, golden eagle versus a jaguar rundi, or even a jaguar, I I'm going to put my money on a golden eagle, period. I've seen them eagles on, on videos back down bigger cats than that. And uh, <laughs> you got to be a big-ass fucking lion to, to uh, want to take on a golden eagle. And uh, they've even backed down mountain lions like uh, your, your uh, bald eagles have. And they're pretty big, but they're not as big as a golden eagle. Golden eagle's fucking uh, 18 foot wingtip to wingtip while they're flying. That's a big fucking bird. But, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two little fucking birds just flew by me. I said, Rang. <laughs> like they're staying high or something. Like, Are you going to feed us, motherfucker? But, yeah, I'm definitely going to start putting out some food for that Jaguar Rundi. But I did talk to the police earlier about seeing the Jaguar Rundi. So they they were already notified by the uh, by the state. What the fuck you call them? The, what do you call them? People, they got the, the big property sanctuary. They got a big state sanctuary out here for animals. And, uh... <laughs> So the state's already reviewed the video I sent them, and they have determined that it is a jaguar rundi. And like I said, they sent the video up to the federal, uh, so they're going to be reviewing it. And then the local authorities have already been notified. So their next job is to notify all the residents in the area not to kill that cat because it is highly protected. It's so protected, it's the number one animal on the protection list right now, and it's fixing to really be because like I said, the state had this bird listed as extinct in the United States. Extinct. <laughs> oh, shit. T. Bob got a video. Of, well, not me, but the guy that lives here is the one that actually took it. But he did, He never heard of one until I told him to keep an eye out for him and try to get a picture or video. So his name is going down in the record books. And then, uh, for sure. And then, uh, uh, but regardless, we got the first video of one of them things in 27 years plus. That's that's something, right? I feel like giddy about that. Like, that's fucking cool, you know? But, uh, 
I kept telling people I seen that motherfucker. Nobody believed me. And there it is. Got the fucking video. What do you think now, motherfucker? Cat. No, they, they know. Everybody seen it goes, God damn, that's a big cat. I said, yeah. Big motherfucker. I'm glad people ain't on this menu, though, because he could definitely kill a, a grown man. Like, no fucking problem. Shit. You, you better be carrying a large fucking machete knife with you to think about defending yourself against that son of a bitch. Fucking claws are huge. God damn. I mean, they're much... They're, the big cat, what do you think? It's bigger than like a domesticated cat claws, like them little bitty tiny things. They'll fuck you up, right? This cat will fucking degut your ass with one strike. <laughs> you have to be, hope that they're not, they're not going to be aggressive towards people. But I don't think they are. I, I really don't. Uh, they're a very reclusive animal for the most part in South America. So for this one to be coming out when there's people around, like it ain't nothing. Uh, that's odd behavior for one of these cats. Um, it, I think it's an adaptive behavior because he needs to eat. And I think this cat has most likely probably been feeding on uh, the cat bows and dog food that people put out for their pets. They've probably been thinking, damn, my dog's eating pretty good. Shit, feed him some more. And this cat's, he's going over, uh, telling that, looking at that dog going, <laughs> that dog sitting there going, hur, 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 don't eat all my food. <laughs> I bark at him is about it. But no, uh, Jaguar Rundi will, uh, in, in the summertime, they will sit up in a tree and coax the dog to, to bark and, and at them and whatnot and until the dog has a fucking stroke, and then they'll go get whatever they want. Um, I think their strategy basically is to wear the dog down so he'll go you know go to sleep, and when he goes to sleep, they'll jump in there and maybe get the little cat, little dog, or whatever the fuck is in there, or animal food that's put out for them and eat it. But he comes real close to us, and he, he damn sure eats the, the scraps that we throw out. Like if you throw out some, you know, leftover T-bone steaks or something, he's always eating that shit. Uh, chicken, whatever. You fuck. He, like if you feed him right here, and right over there, he takes it back to the other side of the house over there where he can look down that side of the house, I think. And he just carries it straight down, and, and, and he'll eat it. Be about maybe four feet off the concrete. And all of the bones that we throw out over here will end up right over there because that's just the way the cat is instinctive. I think he does it for a defensive measure, you know. So it's a pretty smart cat. But yeah, well, let's see a little bass come walking through here today. I call him little because in the world of big cats, he's one of the smaller cats. Like they're they're about the same size as a jaguar, and uh, shit, really, they look almost identical to a jaguar except for the the markings. They don't have the jaguar markings, and when you see a black one like this one, you'll think it's a panther. Everybody thinks it's a panther. Is that a panther? No, nah, I said, well, kind of. It's a jaguar rundi, and they go, well, what's that? And then you have to explain it to them. Well, he's half panther, half jaguar, but he's a puma. He don't have, like, this This cat can fucking run nonstop. See, a jaguar will run and make a kill, and then he's got he got to sit there for, like, 10 minutes catching his damn breath. And uh, this cat, he can run for 30 minutes, make a kill, pick up his prey, and carry him, you know, three miles to his fucking den and go carry him up a tree. He just doesn't get tired like a, like a jaguar. So that that's this cat's probably overall a better cat than a jaguar, really. Uh, I'd like to see him survive and spread out, uh, become more predominant in the world. Uh, but they definitely do exist here in Texas, and, and that video absolutely proves it. I put it on uh, Facebook on two of my Facebook channels, and of course I showed it my video the other day. So that's pretty cool. But if you go watch that video, you're one of the first people to see one of those things uh, as a wild cat in the United States, particularly here in Texas, in over 27 years.
How many people in America? A lot of people in America. And you're one of the very few that have actually seen one on video. And I'm the guy that's responsible for it. So how cool is that? But I want to get him on a, on a live stream. I want to be listed next to my buddy's name. Being the first one to get him on a freaking live stream like that. That would be cool. So that's my agenda. That's my goal. Man, I'm looking hard. I thought I seen him kind of on the other side of that big pile out there. There ain't no telling. He could pop out at any moment. Say hi. Hey, what's up? God, I'm glad we're having good weather. Because it's snowing somewhere in the world. Me? I'm wearing my shorts. I don't give a damn. Da, 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 Let's talk about, talk about. That goddamn Melissa Jordan, that is one stupid fucking bitch. Let me tell you. Because I did a I did an exposing video on that uh Tehran uh supposedly lawyer motherfucker. He ain't no fucking lawyer. Well he is technically, but let me tell you, this guy got like seven fucking licenses that would take you eight years at least to go to fucking school to learn. He became a board-certified attorney by age 22, not because he's fucking smart. He's not. This guy is a flaming fucking idiot. But his family is rich as snot. So what happened was they had a lot of kids. And uh, so he paid this fucking lawyer. I showed it in my video when I did the exposed video on him. And uh, he was paying this fucking lawyer here to get him his fucking board-certified license. In Texas, that's how he fucking got it. Before he had ever stepped foot in the United States, he was board certified in, in California. And uh, that that's how easy it is nowadays for anybody with money to just go get your board certified license. You ain't got to know jack shit about the law. Oh, I'm sure he studied enough to, if they asked him a question, he could probably answer it. But uh, that's about it. Um, let me tell you, any lawyer that only wins 13% of the cases or less is the worst fucking lawyer you can possibly look at getting, right? His win record is between 8% and 11%. I mean, it's 13%. He's about 11% average overall. And when it comes to uh, being a lawyer, this guy fucking sucks. He's at the bottom of the fucking list. And that partner his he got, the, he's even worse. He sucks, too. And uh, he's been a lawyer for a long time, for a lot of years in America, and he still fucking sucks. I think he's up there around 15 16% winning cases. Like, there's no goddamn way. I wouldn't even let these people represent me for free. You stand a better chance representing yourself. And... Uh, He's known for starting up the first online casino, but he was avoiding taxes in every country. He was registering his company. He registered in five different countries. So when one country uh, like Australia told him, you got to pay taxes because you said right here to this country that you're not paying their taxes because you headquartered out of Australia. They got him. So he had to go stand trial. So he left out of Australia and came to the United States and he started up his law firm and him and his partner had, pretty much squandered up most all their fucking money. Uh, they each had like 150 million a piece. And then there was a third partner that they had and he's already fucking broke itself. And uh, 
so basically he's a wanted felon in the in the country of Australia. And 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 online people have posted about him scamming podcasters who have money. Now I told Elisa Jordana about this. I told Leaf about it. I told uh, Todd Dark about it. I told you, a lot of you guys about this. Uh, I told Wolfie about it and everybody in his Discord. And, and I even talked about it in her Discord. And uh, let me tell you, uh, what did she do today? She showed up and accepted a job from the motherfucker. I got news for you. Ain't nobody going to hire you for that bullshit unless they have an agenda or they're straight up. This guy's never been straight up about a fucking thing in his entire life. So I left out of Discord. I'm sorry, guys, but I cannot be uh, talking to somebody who is stupid. I just can't do it. It fucking hurts my brain. And just knowing how fucking stupid she is, I, I could care less to ever talk to this stupid fucking bitch again. She must be desperate. I'm like, she has to be like almost homeless or something desperate. Cool, cool, cool.